You've probably heard of the term hot hatch. This might just be the hottest hatch right now. It's the Tesla Model S P85D. The P means that this is a performance Model S with an 85 kilowatt hour battery and the D stands for dual motor for all wheel drive capability. The good news is you don't have to buy this top model. All wheel drive has been added to the Model S line in the base 70 and 85 kilowatt hour cars. For your money you get a proximity sensor system that pops the door handles out and to lock you just walk away. The front trunk or frunk has a slightly smaller cargo space with the all-wheel drive models because of the electric front motor and control unit. The front seats in this particular car are the optional second generation model for $2,800. In addition, the rear seats can be outfitted with two optional sporty bucket seats over a bench seat. It's called the executive package and they're $3,300. Now the inside of this car is very minimalist. Some might call it stark, but it's also ultra modern because it has this huge 17 inch screen that you control everything in the car through this screen. Even turning on the rear seat warmers has to be done through the screen. It's very intuitive. It thinks kind of like a human thinks and you learn it really quite quickly. So kudos to Tesla for coming up with something that's very simple. It would be nice to have maybe a few buttons on the dash for quick settings that you use all the time. There's there's voice commands and you do have volume control here, but other than that, everything goes through the screen. The rest of the cabin is roomy. This is a really good family machine. There's no engine. There's no drive shaft. The battery packs under the floor. That gives them lots of space for packaging. So the seats are very comfortable. One thing though, the back doors are a little bit small. What this car is all about is providing performance and all wheel traction. Now because this is an electric car, it has regenerative braking. And when you lift off the throttle, those electric motors aren't pulling current any longer. They're actually turning into generators and providing electricity back into the battery pack. But they have the added advantage of also braking the car. So you can drive this car in everyday situations, modulating the throttle and really not having to touch the brake except for when you come to a full stop. It's a really nice system and if you practice with it, it's a, a very easy to modulate the way you drive and also regenerate the car all at the same time. This car is able to run to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.3 seconds. Now, this is the first time I've done it on camera. I have done it, obviously, on my own. And, and considering it's, it's a pretty wet day out here and you have that much power and torque, it does a good job of getting the power down to the ground. The acceleration kind of reminds me, and it actually is on par, of a Porsche Turbo. That's all-wheel drive, a 911 Turbo. But that car doesn't have extra seats in the back, doesn't have two extra doors and big storage like this car, so it's pretty impressive. Now this top Model S is expensive. It starts at $119,000 as tested this red one, 150 grand. It's a bit heart stopping, but Tesla's quick to point out on their website, there's rebates, $8,000 in the province of Quebec, $8,500 from Ontario, and $5,000 from British Columbia. But there's some criticism around that. If you can afford to buy a $150,000 car, the taxpayer shouldn't be giving you a rebate. And I have to agree. After the break, we take a closer look at Tesla's innovative 17-inch screen.